It's important to understand the role of key success factors as they relate to business and also to some extent as they relate to the global simulation game that you're playing. The first time you look at the simulation game, you may feel like you're overwhelmed with all the choices that you have to make, much as if you'd been thrust into the cockpit of a 747 and were asked to land the plane. What your co-pilot would advise you to do, as would the ground control would advise, would be keep focused on just a few of these gauges and we'll land this aircraft. That's my analogy to running business and also to running the simulation game. You identify what the major determinants for success are, the major gauges if you will, and understand there's rarely more than six that are truly key to you successfully running a business. The first one relates to technology and we've seen firms make some brilliant moves with respect to innovation R&D. IBM got out of the PC business very early. It was a razor thin business, it still is, focused on small acquisitions and evolved into a new highly innovative company that it is today. Very successful is that. At the same time Apple continuously risks or cannibalizes sales of existing product lines by rolling out new iPhones, iPads. They do this to stay ahead of the market and they've been very successful at that. On the other hand, Hewlett Packard we think waited way too long to rethink its software and PC business and the firm is having a little bit of trouble as of this speaking. Kodak is in even greater trouble being in that they're bankrupt. They really missed the opportunity to capitalize on innovations in online and digital photography. You have the ability to be innovative and show your R&D expertise as well in this game by, for example, offering different types of cameras with different types of features. I'm not saying that you have to have four or five stars to sell a camera, but different customers want different things and you have the option to be innovative in getting them what they want. The second key success factor is that of having a lean organization. We've seen a lot of business press about organizations who have restructured, shed costs, add robotics, automation to become a leaner, more cost effective company and therefore producing higher margins and greater profits. You also have the ability to do that in a number of places in your simulation game by deciding how many product teams, how much overtime, etc. The third key success factor is that of your distribution outlet. Here's one I love, Squaw Valley uh, a Ski Resort, having a ski through Starbucks. That's probably retail outlet at its best. I can't say it's very profitable based on the rent they're most likely paying for this kiosk, but that's, uh, that's brilliant. Walmart has a strong retail outlet versus its competitors in so much as that they have so many stores available versus their direct competition. And you too in Globus have the decision to operate as many on-store chains, retailers, and shops as you see fit. The fourth key success factor is that of marketing or merchandising. Every time I walk into Joseph Banks, they're having a sale. It may be buy one, get two free. It may be 70% off everything. Regardless, every time they have you in the store, they make you feel very, very special, and you're going to walk out with an armload of clothing feeling like you got the deal of the century, when in fact you got their everyday price just disguised under a different type of promotion. They're brilliant. With respect to your simulation game, you can use your merchandising skills to affect your market share, for example. Skills related is the fifth success factor. Skills related is typically workforce talents. Um, my analogy here is Fortune every year ranks the 100 best companies to work for and these best companies to work for are believed to create a corporate culture whereby employees are happy and very very productive and some of those firms listed are right here on the right of your screen. You too have the ability to show your skills related or workforce talent. Quite often I see that in muscle. While I don't normally check login and uh, dates and times, quite often the more successful teams have more players logging into this game, taking more time to understand what's going on, reading through the drop-through menus, and deciding what's most important to drive success of that company. 
And then the sixth success factor is that of information systems, not only of the analysis of that information, but also the dissemination of information. In big business, it may be reading trade reports, the Wall Street Journal, competitive intelligence, reports by consultants. Knowing your business, knowing your competitors is a key to success. In your game, you have the ability to get competitive intelligence in a number of ways. There's more information here than anyone could possibly decide ever to do with all of it. Comparative statistics, etc. There are a lot of ways in this game that you can look at information, disseminate it throughout your team, work hard, and be successful.